Working at the transmission where the drive shaft connects, remove the three 18 millimeter drive shaft flex disc fasteners as indicated by the green arrows. Using a pry bar or a large flathead screwdriver, lever the drive shaft away from the transmission. You won't need much force to do this. If it won't move, you have left a bolt in place. If you want to replace the flex disc, now would be a good time to remove it. Then support the drive shaft using a rope or a mechanics wire. Remove the other three 18 millimeter bolts from the flex disc. Then remove the flex disc from the drive shaft. Remove the complete exhaust system from your vehicle. Please see our article and video on exhaust system removal by following the link at the end of this video. Next you will have to remove the exhaust heat shields. Start by removing the front one. Remove one 13 mm fastener as indicated by the blue arrow. Then remove two 10 mm fasteners as indicated by the green arrows and the two 6 mm fasteners yellow arrows. Then pull the heat shield down and remove it from the vehicle. Working at the rear heat shield, remove the three 10 mm fasteners green arrows. Then remove the rear heat shield from the vehicle. Working at the rear drive shaft, remove the four E12 drive shaft bolts green arrows. Next you have to remove the two 13 mm center bearing fasteners green arrow. Be sure to support the drive shaft when you remove the center bearing fastener so it does not fall. After removing the center bearing fasteners, remove the drive shaft from the vehicle and place it on a solid surface. Now you can separate the front and rear sections of the drive shaft. Peel back the ceiling boot, green arrow, then mark, yellow arrow, the orientation of the front and rear drive shaft. This will help with reassembly. Once marked, pull the drive shaft apart to separate. The center bearing can be replaced now. I like to use a three jaw puller to remove the center bearing from the drive shaft. You can do this or press the bearing off using a shop press. If you are replacing the rear section of the drive shaft, you can skip this step. You will have to press the new center bearing onto the new drive shaft. Use the next step for that procedure. To install the new bearing, tap it on using a hammer. This method usually works fine. In some cases, you may have to press it on using a shop press. Install the repaired rear section of the drive shaft to the differential. Install the four bolts and tighten. Then hold the center bearing up against the body and install the fasteners finger tight. You want the center bearing to rest in about the same location as before. Use the marks on the body from the previous installation. If you leave the front section disconnected, this part is much easier. With the rear installed, the drive shaft is solid and the center bearing can only rest in one place. Tighten the center bearing fasteners, then install the front section of the drive shaft. Match marks you made earlier when reassembling. Make sure the dust boot is properly seated. Install the flex disc to drive shaft and transmission. Reinstall the exhaust heat shield and the exhaust. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.